My name is Silas Reiner. I graduated from Princeton in 2006. I majored in comparative literature and with certificates in dance and creative writing. Since 2012, I've been performing in the work of Terry O'Connor. I was a really hyperactive kid, and when we would be sitting down to dinner, my parents would let me kind of do laps around the house. So I'd do like three laps, jump on the trampoline, and like do a flip onto the mattress, and then eat like one bite of dinner, and then do that again while my parents are all just kind of sitting there. The first dance thing that I was actively involved in here at Princeton was the Dziak Dance Company. I joined my freshman fall. I enrolled in a modern dance class with Zaeva Cohen, who was at that time the head of dance. What I wanted was for that person to teach me how to fly, because I was pretty convinced that that's what dancing was and that I could do it. And so she was kind of like, you need to do this. Like, this is the class, you need to do this information. These are the fundamentals, or like, this is how you progress. And I was like, no, I want to be up here already. It's hard to start dance training, I mean, at any age, but when you go into a room, you're the only boy, and everyone else has been doing this since they could walk. Uh, it's challenging, so there's a lot of awkwardness that you just kind of have to get comfortable living with all the time. A woman was hired for the dance faculty named Rebecca Legere. Rebecca was really encouraging and supportive for me. The summer before my senior year, Rebecca and I worked out this kind of program of study for me. She's like, well, you should take ballet classes from this person and you should take Cunningham classes at the Cunningham studio. That summer be before my senior year was the first experimental moment of like, could I be a person who moves to New York, takes dance classes, maybe gets paid to be a dancer or wants to make their own work. The senior thesis project would probably be the thing that I recognize now to be a kind of a cornerstone place. I was writing a book of poems and like a historical creative analysis of dance and poetry and making a dance show. I applied to the MFA program at the Tisch School of the Arts. I was taking Cunningham classes to kind of get back in shape after being away from the summer. I started getting noticed a little bit and it emerged that someone was leaving the company and I got an email saying, come to class tomorrow, stand in front of Merce. So I'm standing there like vibrating and trembling. After this one class, I got a phone call from the rehearsal director saying that Merce would like me to join the company. I almost don't remember anything else about that day other than just like floating through the rest of New York. It took a while to get acclimated and I think it wasn't until Merce started making a new dance that I felt like, oh, this is a creative relationship and he's interested in how I'm different or how I'm individual. Merce really loved to not ever talk about dance. If there was a moment where like nothing was really happening and there was a few people in the room, he would call us over and like start talking about a bird that he had seen out the window. He was always fascinated with birds and nature and like the wind that was going around the building. Merce died in 2009, two years after I joined the company. One of the other company members, Rashawn Mitchell, and I had begun making work together. The early conversations about the piece that would come to be named Tesseract were with Charles Atlas, a filmmaker and video artist. The major milestone was a performance at BAM in New York. Uh, we sold out, we added a show, and it was totally exciting and totally terrifying. You know, it's 15 years since that first dance class where I really wanted to and tried to be able to fly. I think in some ways I'm, I'm gonna be chasing that feeling uh, for my whole life, but I feel so lucky and so privileged to have been able to have these experiences, to be able to work with Merce in his lifetime and to be able to really create a life for myself around crafting these experiences to share with other people.
Thank you.